What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Tales of Unlimited Budget. Now, I gotta be frank with all of you. I felt like I was watching a new anime series when I sat down and watched this episode. I, I, I honestly, I did a recheck like three times just to make sure I was watching the same series. If it wasn't for the art and animation, I truly would have believed this was a different anime I was watching. I, I'm not even joking because when I sat down and watched this, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I thought, you know, the beginning of it was just, you know, setting up, like, a new character or something. And then the episode continued on, and all these different elements that we saw throughout the episode, I'm like, we haven't seen any of these characters. I'm like, what, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, what the hell? I mean, the entire episode, it felt like it was a first episode. That's exactly how it felt. I'm like, am I supposed to know these characters? Like, I, legit, when I was watching this episode, I thought I forgot something. I, I thought I went brain dead and forgot, like, characters or something. I, I truly am going to be honest with you. I thought I forgot something. I thought I was looking at the wrong series. And there was that times when I thought I couldn't read the title because I'm like, am I really watching the same anime? I mean, the art and animation looks like a photobull, but it, it, it feels different. So, I obviously, I could carry on with the episode, and I'm watching it. I'm like, yo, this, this is... This is a pretty badass fucking episode. I mean, I don't know what the fuck these characters are doing or why they're there and all that. I'm trying to understand them, but they're really badass. Like, I gotta say, I think her name is Velvet. She, she's a badass. And instantly, I gotta say, her design, oh, way more of a badass looking character than our main character. I mean, I like our main character's transformation design, but I, I just gotta be real with all of you. I love, I love Velvet's design. Not because of the Opie, I'm just gonna be straight up, okay? It's not because of the Opie. I just love her design, I love her voice actor, I love the way she carried herself at the beginning of the episode, the way she fought those demons. It, it was just so badass, and I'm like, damn! Uh, why can't this be the main character of fucking Tells? I'm like, yo, she's badass as fuck, man. Like, she's sitting there kicking ass. She's like a demon eater or whatever. She, like, absorbs demons through her hand. I'm like, she's a badass fucking character. I want more of her. And I'm like, okay, so after the episode is done, I'm like, all this sat up with betrayal, vengeance and stuff, and, you know, finding out that she is trying to hunt down her quest to kill this person, this king. I'm like, yo, yo. I want more. I, I absolutely want more. So I went to kind of find out some details, and apparently what I found out was is this is supposedly some form of promo for a new Tales game that's coming out, which is like some form of prologue or prequel or something to the Tales of Zestria anime or the game. And I'm like, that's strange. Like, Why would they do that? I mean, it, it's very off. I mean, if it's to promote a new game, it's just like, does it really mesh or whatever? Like, does this really have anything to do with the actual events of going on in the Tales of Zestria? Or is this series just like, you know, something new and they're throwing it in there just to advertise the new game? I'm very curious overall about the little details, like the nitty gritty details. But I do like this episode, and I have to say, if I had the chance to get the game or play it, I definitely would pick up the game just to see that the main uh, female character in this episode. She was such a badass going around kicking ass like that. I, I just love the way she acted throughout this episode. And the voice actor, oh my god, that voice actor nailed all her scenes, especially at the beginning, towards the end too, when she was falling down the tower and jumped off. I just love all these different lines that she was speaking. It, it's just something that really stood out to me when I was watching this episode. So yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a first episode. That's exactly how this felt. It felt like I was watching the series for the first time, because that, that's what the episode is about. It was introducing these characters, introducing like the plot and the summary, the world, and kind of what you can expect from the series. And I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, overall, when it comes to anime, I, it, it would be a good first episode. Like, if this was a first episode, it would be good. It would be a fantastic first episode. It got my interest. But as a episode 5 or... Or I guess episode 6 if you count the prologue episode 0. I don't know. I, I don't know how I really feel about this because, I mean, if these characters don't really have any role to play in the actual main timeline of what's going on, I don't know how I feel about that because I'm like, this feels like it's just there to be there and it's kind of wasting time to actually what the main plot is about. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love the characters we got. I love this episode. But if this episode was just used as a promotion for the game... It doesn't sit right with me, because I'm like, it's it just, I want more of what's going on really in the story. I want something that, you know, I know I can continue and see a conclusion to, not something that, you know, is just a promo and I'll have to go play the game to continue it. I just hope it's not something like that. But yeah, episode, this episode, 
I like the demons. I, I really like the choice and design for the demons. I do like the fighting that was going on this episode. The music, oh my god, the music is godlike. Don't even get me started with that ending song that was used. That was a good ending song. That was a very good ending song. So, yeah, episode overall, I enjoyed it. it. Just, I'm confused. I'm very confused. As a person that's an anime only that has not played any other Tales game besides Tales of Vesperia, I'm confused on the timeline of this anime, and I'm very confused if this was just a promotion or if these characters will have a role to play in the main series. So, if you have any ideas or if you know anything about this, please let me know in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.